G'day, I'm at the Barrington's camping today. I brought uh, my 35mm film camera as well as a medium format film camera as well with some black and white, so it should be pretty tasty. I was here two weeks ago camping at um, Pole Blue Campground. It's really sunny, it was a beautiful weekend. Came here um, today, I've just come straight from work and uh, all through work, all through the day, it's looking really overcast, raining, terrible, but I think I just I'd really just have to say to myself, you know, just go. You might have one bad night's sleep and then you can always turn around and with tail behind your legs and run home. <clears throat> but we're here and it's a beautiful day. It might rain a bit later, but it's a beautiful afternoon. So I'm at Junction Pools campground and there's a walk and I brought my film camera, so I think it should be a really nice weekend and perfect spot. Perfect spot for a swim, although it might be a bit cold. I think exploring the Australian bush when it's raining or overcast is a special experience. Nature comes alive when it rains, and being present for that is something to cherish. With the rain comes a perfect opportunity to catch up on some reading. Next morning's breakfast isn't anything special, but with camping, most nearly any meal is a good meal. Having had a slow morning, it was time to set off for Carey's Peak. The trees were alive with the calls and movement of birds, their colours standing out on a grey sky. With the long grass and even longer flowers, my boots were soaked through. They're a tad old, but I do love them.
As the trail moved off old four-wheel drive tracks, I was getting closer to Kerry's Peak and to a well-deserved lunch break. Yeah, right here's pretty amazing. I'm glad it didn't rain today, or it hasn't rained so far. It's, um, but today's much better. Still a bit overcast, but definitely moody. Really fresh forest. Like it brings out all the wildlife. There's so many birds on the walks, uh, the walk today, and we get this amazing view. So I think we're walking back, eat some lunch at the hut, and um, then just. Head straight back to the car and head home tonight, I think. I was gonna stay one more night, but uh, with thunderstorms tomorrow, I was, uh, all I was gonna do was hop up in the morning and drive home. So I think tonight, maybe drive home and cook myself some falafel. You know, that was supposed to be yesterday's dinner, but it was raining and I uh, couldn't cook it. So I'm very keen for falafel wraps. There's a notebook entry. It says, back in 2014, at about 12.04, Bert said, home by lunch. Fuck Bert. And then, uh, 34 minutes later, I would just like to take a moment to say sorry to Bert. It works out he brought a Mars bar. I really wish we didn't kill him. It seems like Bert ran into a string of bad luck. How about I don't, um, run into his body but he may have more Mars bars on him so that might be a good treat. I decided to leave my own entry. Camped overnight at Junction Pools with a drizzle being the perfect weather to finish my book. Lunch consisted of a cliff bar and nectarine. Planning on doing the corker trail in two weeks time so hopefully another entry here. Plenty of wildlife about including a lunch companion, a lizard. Time to head back now I reckon. There was, I have faint recollections of rain coming this afternoon, so I definitely want to beat that. And so I think from here out, it's just going to be heading straight back to the car, maybe get one or two photos, but I think it's just going to be head down, pumping out those 5Ks back to the car. I was going to go for a swim, but I think the towel will still be wet from yesterday, but you never know, might do it.
Heading home, I was looking forward to coming back and hiking the Corker Trail. The weather had other plans, along with a series of unfortunate events causing my hike to be pushed back indefinitely, though in the scheme of a lifetime, those few months would go past in the blink of an eye.